Hi, I'm Eric Gist, and uh, you can see my work at Watts Atelier online, as well as my own personal website, www.ericgist.com. Do you ever struggle with motivation, and if so, how do you deal with it? Yeah, I think every artist struggles with motivation at one time or another. How I deal with it is usually trying to find something else to occupy my mind. Uh, going out and getting a workout in, or you know, playing a game, or something like that, just kind of turn my brain off of whatever it is that I'm trying to motivate myself for. I feel like then when I come back to it, I tend to be sort of fresh and ready to go on it again and just feel better about everything in general. But the, if I just keep hammering at something, then I just get more and more frustrated. Do you ever struggle with motivation? And if so, how do you deal with it? I do struggle sometimes with motivation on a single project, but what I tend to do is have two or three on the go. So I can flip between them and uh, if I'm really struggling, I can go to something that feels quite different or, or, or maybe it's a different medium and, and then I, I feel like kind of ups my motivation a bit. I also change media a lot. If I'm struggling with one thing, I might flip to pencil or ink or watercolour. So change it up that way and it kind of keeps my motivation and interest going really. So. Do you ever struggle with motivation? And if so, how do you deal with it? Struggling with motivation honestly hasn't been a problem of mine for almost more than a decade. When I was a student, that was very much a case, but right now, not so much. A lot of it is mainly due to the return of the things I finish and accomplish. So whether it's like working with people one-on-one, -on -one, teaching classes with bigger groups, traveling internationally globally with people, or in, and of course, finishing my own products. So because I'm always, working on multiple different things and juggling many, many aspects of them, uh, that return of energy keeps me motivated to keep going to do more. And in actuality, things like these kinds of shows could be draining for some people, but next, I actually get energized from it. So I don't feel tired by the end of the show. I want to do more of it. Like I get this anxious feeling to keep drawing after the show is done, and people are like, oh, the show is so long, but I want it to be longer, actually. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of times it's the job. You know, it's a matter of deadlines. Oh. You gotta get it done. At the end right. of the day, it there is no like finding inspiration. Right. Sometimes you gotta get things done. Yeah. I need to do more personal work. That's what I'm trying to work towards. Now that I've kind of done the hustle and gotten myself to a good place in life, now I'm trying to keep work at work and then do more of the, uh, the, the personal work on my own. Okay, so do you struggle doing the personal work? like? You come home, you're tired. Yeah. I love where I work right now. I love what I'm working on. But it's that I know that I have to maintain that personal growth and maintain that personal interest of work or else I'll burn out. I've been trying to move towards doing things that I'm just inspired to do. A lot of nights I will just chill out. But uh, other nights, it's just a matter of this is what I love to do. That's, that's the motivation. Uh, yeah. If that feels wrong at any point, then that's something that I need to think about. Like I said, at work, it's the deadlines. At work, it's about coming through for my team. At work, it's about coming through for like the players in, in regards to like Riot sort of thing. Uh, when it's my own stuff, it's just a matter of finding the inspiration and then just pushing myself to, to work on it as yeah. hard as I would something that's done for like a company or as a job or something like that. Right. It's, it's my own job. So. Yeah. Cool. What superpower would be most useful to an artist? The ability to resist tendonitis, no, uh, <laughs> would be helpful. The ability to never have to sleep. I don't know if that's healthy. I think also duplicating yourself. Oh wow. That's, that's a good one. That is a good one. That's better than not sleeping. Well, I've heard sleeping is good. I haven't really tried it in a while. The life of an artist. You know. <laughs> a freelance artist. Yeah. Hi. I'm Aliza. My website is alizibanova.com. This is my boost. Do you ever struggle with motivation? And if so, how do you deal with it? I do struggle with motivation, yeah, a lot. This thing I found was discipline. Drawing constantly helps because that creates, it, it, it becomes a routine. I know that really helps me. If I'm in, you know, in kind of like an artist block, I know where to, where to go and what to do to kind of not think about drawing so much and just do it and usually that means live drawing. That's for me it's like the number one thing to do is do live drawing or you know you just go online and there's a whole bunch of websites that provide um, timed images that you can draw from. 
to me that's the best way to actually like shut down your brain from the, all that like I need to make a masterpiece today you just start somewhere and once you start you, you only need that first initial kind of push and afterwards it becomes easier yeah cool Do you ever struggle with motivation? And if so, like, how do you deal with it? There's gonna be times that you're gonna get uh, burnt out. And we gotta remember we're not robots, but you do have to train yourself to draw on command, okay? And that's what this business is, drawing on command. So you, you can't have a bad day, you're gonna have to find inspiration elsewhere, whether it's by looking at reference, or going and stepping away from the desk for 20 minutes, or maybe even half a day, going to do other stuff that's creative, like maybe writing, shake off some of the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, you're going to get burnt out, you're going to feel like you can't do it, but you have to do it. It's not you just depend on it, it's everybody else, and that's what's going to make you just keep rolling forward. I don't struggle with motivation, I think, too much. I'm kind of like a constant on the go, as far as work goes, as far as production of work goes. And I feel like the more constant I am, the the more comes out, the more tends to be released. So motivation, no. I've got a lot going on that I would like to get out. I don't, I don't like time-wise, I think there's not enough time to get in as much as I'd like to be nice. doing. So you're always on, you just wake up and you're ready to go. Yeah, I'm up early. I, I am a rare <laughs> artist that gets up early. Good, we're all jealous of you now. <laughs> <laughs> it is strange. It's this very it strange is. thing. I can actually answer a little more to that. Sure, please. There was a time not too long ago that I was in a really bad car accident. And ever since then has been a complete motivation for me because it was like a big awakening for, you yeah. know, life is short and, and get going. So, yeah. yeah. Do you ever struggle with motivation? And if you do, how do you deal with it? I go for a run or a walk. It kind of helps me to kind of get away completely from the table. Yeah. Or if I just really feel like I got to get work done right then and there, I'll just get away and just start looking at my bookshelf and get totally discouraged and then inspired at the same time. So. Yeah, that's cool. I do the same thing. I go for a walk. Yeah. It awesome. helps a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then just a funny one. Uh, blah, Paper blah, blah. or plastic? Paper. It's all, always paper for me, man. Oh, In this day and age, it's all about paper. There's too much plastic out there right now. I like that That's a good one. Yeah. That's a better one than That's I was... a better one? I That's mean... why I'm here, man. That's why I'm here. I'll ask you one anyway. Yeah. What animated world would you want to live in? Spider-Verse. I knew you were going to say it. I knew yeah. it. <laughs> Spider-Verse. It kind of like reminds me of this one already. Well, you know, I, I worked on, I did some design work for that. Oh, really? Yeah. Early, oh, early, man. early, early stages. I just saw it last week. For the first time? Yeah, I have a two-year-old son. We can't go to the movies very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we waited till it, you know, came yeah. out. Yeah, it's on Netflix, it's on Netflix now. now. So yeah, we watched yeah. it on Netflix. But man, yeah. you, you missed out on the experience though. Seeing yeah, that thing on the big screen is I like, know. I understand. You got a million point five followers. You don't really need to go to the movies. You are the movie. <laughs> I am the movie. I'm the entertainer. I still like going to movies. You like still going to the movie? Of course. Have you seen anything like, have you seen like Endgame and stuff like that? Or? I didn't see Endgame. Gee whiz, man. I know. I, dude, I've seen like three movies in the theater in the past two years. I don't what even remember what they were. I was going to say, you don't it's remember. It's like. It's going to be something like the remake of Elmo. Schindler's List. <laughs> It's like, oh, okay. Do you struggle with motivation? And if, you, if so, how do you deal with it? I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I can fully understand and answer that question. I get distracted, but for myself, I, I, I always want to get to a certain goal. If your mind is just filled with that, you can't stop and worry about, am I good enough or am I, I don't feel doing this or I don't feel doing that. Yeah. Because you have that goal and you consistently want to do it. But yeah, you get distracted by family, by life, by all these other things. But at the back of your head, you're like, okay, you better go back to your goal. You better go back to your goal. So yeah, cool. <laughs> you probably just don't, you know, yeah. struggle with motivation. You yeah, just, well, um, yeah, you're a driven I, I'm, I'm sure there are times where you're like, okay, is this good enough? Mm -hmm. You just have to know that you've done your best. Mm -hmm. You know, you've done your best. 
you're not getting the, the, the amount of reactions that you're expecting from your fans or your consumers or your, or your clients, then it just means you gotta work harder, yeah. you know, and, 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 and evolve and change. It comes down to you being flexible with creative stuff and, and work ethic and everything. Hey guys, I'm Chrissy Zulo. Uh, I'm basically on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and it's all under my name, Chrissy Zulo, C-H-R-I-S-S-I-E-Z-U-L-L-O. You ever struggle with motivation? And if so, how do you deal with it? Um, I do struggle with motivation sometimes, but whenever I, I reach that point, I just like to watch like my favorite movies or my favorite animated films um, or read my favorite comics. and. Whenever I like fall in love with these characters that I look up to and I relate to, it makes me want to draw them and want to get back into drawing. So I guess I just you know go back to all my favorites, and that's really what gives me like that one up to, to get back and get drawing again. Cool. Do you ever struggle with motivation? And if so, how do you deal with it? I love to draw so much that it covers most of the things. I have a few injuries that cause me pain when I draw. A crushed disc in my neck that goes down my arm. So. I had to get past that. I mostly do traction and take care of it and really eat right and get enough sleep. And as long as I do that, I can usually pull. Nice. So. Do I ever struggle with motivation? No, I don't really ever struggle with motivation. For sure, so do. Find something you love. Uh, the reason I've never struggled with motivation is that I just love the art form. I just love pictures. Just love entertainment art. Even if I wasn't doing it, I would love it enough to be a DJ for it, which is kind of what being a teacher is, is that you're hosting all of this great art. I trust that answers the question. It does. <laughs> That's great. Do I ever struggle with motivation? Yes, of course. I mean, I think uh, most artists do. A lot of the, the, the ability to get over it comes from sketching my sketchbook. If I'm feeling like um, you know I'm at a loss for ideas, I always go back to the, the, the sketchbook. Sometimes I actually even go back through old sketches and find ideas that I was excited about at one point um, that I hadn't thought about in a while. So that provides a good place to, to sort of reboot uh, when I'm feeling like things aren't going the way I want them to go. And then also I, I find that when I travel, or when I explore new places, try new experiences, that often gets me out of those ruts or, or those moments where you're feeling uninspired. Mm. No, actually I never, I never have an issue with motivation itself. Uh, I always want to draw, there's always something I want to, if not draw, at least tell a story. There's always the desire. What does happen to me though sometimes is I get mental fatigue, um, and when I get mental fatigue, I have to find different things to deal with it. Like I just go for a bike ride, like all the, all the classic stuff. But mostly I just, you know, sit down and draw and something will eventually happen. Do you ever struggle with motivation? And if so, how do you deal with it? Yes. Working late, I guess, ends up being the how I deal with that. Every creative process ends up having a lot of hiccups or things you end up hating or like redrawing or going through it emotion after motion after motion. Sometimes it's just straight up working through it or just accepting the deadline and moving past it and then coming back to it at another time as well. What superhero power would be really useful to an artist? Water bending? I mean, think about it, just like ink is essentially water, right? And uh, so if you could just kind of like gracefully yeah. manipulate it over the page, you never need to use a brush. Like, <laughs> that's a new one. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Awesome. <laughs> Do you ever struggle with motivation? And if you do, how do you deal with it? I listen to music is the best thing. A lot of visual artists get in the habit of having uh, movies and TVs and things like that on, you know, episodes they kind of pay attention to, but not quite. Music or, again, I think inspiration for creativity is out of boredom. So turn the phones off, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and your mind will start making stuff up. Oh, interesting. So get bored. Yeah. 
stop, stop, stop texting, stop looking at phones, stop watching whatever. Silence, quiet, and just because you will get bored, you'll make something up. It may not be great, but it's, it's a process. It's going forward. Nice. That's an original one. I haven't heard that one yet. Do I ever struggle with motivation? That is an awesome question. Of course, just like everybody else. But you know what? What I struggle with, what I learned I struggled with, is this little voice in my head that was the problem. It was telling me, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Well, the great thing is, is that we, once we're aware of that, we have control over that. And all you need to do is just grab that little voice and just smack it in the face <laughs> and just tell it, shut up. I need to do some work. I got to get some work done. I am in control. And then you got to just keep going. You know, one of my heroes is Forrest Gump. I know he's fictional, but he just puts his mind to something and stops thinking. And sometimes that's the best thing that you could do. Nice. I love that. Do I struggle with motivation? Uh, yes, I struggle some days where I just go to the drawing board and I'm trying to work on something and it's just not there. I'm just not feeling it and how I deal with it a lot of the times is multiple projects. If I just transition to doing something else and oftentimes I may even just walk my dog and go out around the block or something. That's what I usually try to do when I'm Let's go for a walk. Sort of that motivation. Yeah. Hi, my name is William Stout, and my website is www.williamstout.com, or you can also reach me on Facebook. Okay, so the first question is, do you ever struggle with motivation? And if so, how do you deal with it? If I have any kind of block, like an artist block, I have two surefire ways to get over that. If I'm, if I'm trying to solve a difficult problem, I solve it in one of two ways. I either take a shower, and suddenly, magically, in the shower, the answer to the, my problem comes, just bubbles up. Or, to keep in shape, I run three miles of hills every other day, and if I set myself that problem at the beginning of the run, by the end of the run, I will have solved it. The other thing is, you know, sometimes you just get burnt out. You've been working so hard, you, you, you get drained. And sometimes it's good to just take a break and recharge, and, and one of the ways I recharge is I look at the art that inspired me as a kid and I get re-inspired by it all over again. So. Do you ever struggle with motivation? And if so, how do you deal with it? <laughs> you can just say no if you don't. <laughs> Sometimes I have uh, troubles to find the, the, the right mood in very short time when I have to do covers in a few days. I would, would like to have like more, like a couple of weeks. It's very hard to stay awake all night and find the, the, the right uh, idea, the right concept. So this is the most difficult things that I use. Yeah. Do. How do you keep that motivation? Like what do you do to make sure to finish it? I just think that uh, at the end they will pay me, so. <laughs> <laughs> you have no choice. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right guys, I hope this helps you get motivated. Let me know in the comments what you do to stay motivated or which of the answers from this video helped you the most. We got seven more of these videos coming up, so stay tuned.